Welcome to the Booze Buddy Update for Thursday, December 30th. It's brought to you by The Real Voice Mel Allen, voiceovers for commercials, podcasts, explainer videos, e-learning, telephone systems, and more. You can check out samples and demos at therealvoice.com. And cocktail mixers. Well, the best cocktail mixers are there to enlarge your drink, help break back the alcohol, add another layer or layers of flavor, and make that cocktail complete. Bet's ones, often simple, but not always. Uh, to have the Bex misters, you can look to a number of canned sodas and other drinks. You can add in some bitters or citrus to complete it, and it can even be made alcohol-free. If you want a list of simple mixers that also link to more complete recipes if you need more direction, check out the link in the show notes. And is it... O ever okay to put ice in your wine. Well, of course it is. You bought it, you can have it however you like. It's no longer considered sacrilege by many, and it's even common to see ice in especially rosé wines during the summer months, even in places like France. However, it isn't just for those hot summer nights. If you want to cool yourself down or if you want to keep your wine cool down anytime, it's okay. If you want to have the best experience, well, maybe check out the uh, article from Wine Mag that is also linked in the show notes. And continuing with the wine and also continuing with the tradition of non-alcoholic beverages as we head toward a dry January for many, uh, is non-alcoholic wine basically grape juice? Well, no, it's crafted and the alcohol is often removed from these beverages, just like it is with other non-alcoholic and low alcoholic beverages. You can hear more about that process and the winemakers from California, Spain, and others who are removing the alcohol for their customers from brands like Teetotaler, Leitz, and Surely. Coming up tomorrow, beers to use in place of champagne for your celebrations, dry January tips, and helping to fund a cure. Thanks for joining. Like, review, and subscribe. Leave any feedback or get in touch at boozebuddyupdate.com. Stay safe, drive sober, and remember to support the booze that supports your local community. See you again for your New Year's Eve edition of the Booze Buddy Update tomorrow.